Okay, so what are the challenges? Can you see the screen? Yes. What are the challenges in network security engineer or cyber security? So data leakage, 17%. This slide may be a little bit older, but these are the challenges right now. We, are, we have external hacking. It's, I think I don't think it's a 5%. I think at least this is 30, 40% nowadays. Data leakage, how the data can be leaked? From employees. From employees. Yeah, so maybe somebody copy any information from the internal machine and take in the file at home or somewhere. Okay, so for example, if you work in a banks, for example, or a financial institute, even you plug in your USB, it will not be working. You maybe you can't open your email, internal, uh, your external email, so they block you so many things from there. Employee mistake can be also happen. Mistakenly, you, you share some information, leak some information internally. Incident from the employee own devices. Nowadays, you know the number of own devices, for example, that's why there's one chapter in CCN security, bring your own device, B-O-Y-D. So mobile, uh, tablets, all these things, people want to connect them into the network. So now, mostly organization, what they're doing, they have their internal infrastructure for their PC laptop, for internal machine, and also they have a Wi-Fi system for the people to connect their own devices as well, which can keep separate from the enterprise network. Okay. Um, so I, I know I have one client, for example, they, um, they have a policy that only window operating system devices can connect to the network. Okay. So recently they complained that, okay, this is not happening. So you need to take care of that. Okay, so this is the kind of policy. It depends on the company policy. Cloud computing, I think, is is increase from 11 percent. Uh, this uh, employees. So cyber attacks, I don't think so. It's 7 percent, but there are more and more cyber attacks. So internal, external, all the. So, but anyway, these are the challenges we need to be aware. Data can be leaked. External hacking. Employee can make a mistake. Incident from the employee itself. Cyber attacks and cloud computing. All of these. Okay. These are also some challenging in this faced by the small businesses nowadays. Uh, employee using non-company devices to access the network. Risk from the third party service provider. 19% IT department has another important priority. Maybe they're, bu they're busy, they can't actually. Funding is also a major problem nowadays for small businesses. Uh, struggle to find the good cybersecurity vendors or provider. Struggle to find the qualified cybersecurity professional. So these are these some challenging for small businesses as well. Okay, anybody have ever seen this slide? Uh, uh, sorry, this um, triangle, by the way. What do you mean by triangle? What this is explaining? Hmm? Yep. what do you think? Anna, any idea? Um, yeah, because I, I looked at this slide before. <laughs> you never seen so? Okay. Right? Okay. I think they all linked and they all, all linked. depend on each other, basically. Exactly. So, if you look at the triangle, it has three portion functionality, security, and ease of use. So, these are the three things you need to, as a network security, cyber security engineer, you need to understand these things. So, functionality, security, and ease of use. If I, if I take this ball, let's say I want to secure my network very very secure okay if i keep this ball very at this corner it means that it is far away from functionality and is far away from ease of use yes network is 100 percent secure sorry sorry no network can be 100 percent secure but it is more secure okay but it is far away from the functionality mean the functionality it is used for and also from the ease of use Okay, so for example, you want to s deny every traffic coming into your network. Yes, it is more secure now. However, that use it, it is not easy to use a network. Every time you need to open something, you maybe you need to type 20 digit password combination, upper, lower digits, X, Y, Z. So yeah, it is, so that is why as a network security engineer, when you are protecting any device, when you're protecting any resources in the network, you need to understand what you are exactly doing. So you need to put the ball right at the level where it is required. If you are putting the ball too is very close to the very close to the here, 
yes, is very easy to use, but you are far away from security, you are far away from functionality. Okay, if you need to use a mo mobile and you need to every time you want to listen a phone or call a phone or use a WhatsApp, you need to type 20 digits. It's it's a difficulty. Okay, that's why nowadays they are using like um, iOS or these so much more secure, but easy to use as well. Okay, so that's why when you are creating a later on, if you are creating a rule on the firewall or VPNs or anything, you need to understand where you are actually keeping the walls away. Any question? No? Yeah. Okay. Now, this is very important, guys. What are the goal of network security? How we can say our network is nearly secure? You know, it is when somebody asks you to become um, as a network security engineer, how we can, what are the things we need to achieve in order to make sure that our network becomes a secure network? What are the things? So, it's called CIA. It's not American intelligence agency, but it's called confidentiality, integrity, and availability. These are the three things. If you, you know, achieve, it means your network is at least have a good security. Okay. So again, CIA a goal of the network security is to achieve confidentiality, integrity, and also availability. Making sure your resources. If you put too much security, maybe they are not available. Okay. Confidentiality. Anybody knows what is confidentiality? Privacy. Privacy. Okay. How, what do you mean by uh, confidentiality? No, if you put on the file that this is very confidential. Just the person intended to see it will see it. Okay. And if they see it, if, if I see it in that's the middle. That's not confidential. That's not confidential. And if I see it, if I, if I, let's say I picked up the file and I start reading it. It's a, a it's a breach, but how we can achieve confidentiality? Breach. Password, encryption, encryption, that's what we're talking about, encryption. Confidentiality means encryption. It's like a garbage. Okay. So if I see, if you are transferring 100 pounds to Anna, Ryan is transferring 100 pounds to Anna, and I can, even I intercept that in the middle, as a man in the middle attack, which we'll see in a minute, if I intercept that, okay, I should not be able to see what you are doing in the middle. So it means I achieve my confidentiality. Integrity? Has it been tempered with? Tempered. Temp yeah. Somebody say, oh, you are attacking on my integrity. I'm not a thief. Why are you calling me a thief, for example? So it means you are tempering somebody's personality. So integrity means that the data, when the information is translating from one location to another location, it should not be changed in the middle. So if Ryan is sending $100 to Tayyab, if I come in the middle and I change from 100 to 1000, so he will be receiving 1000 from your account. Okay, so if I want to make sure that this should not happen, I should have some kind of functionality. So data should not be tempered, even though I can view it, but I could not be tempered. Okay, so we'll see later on what protocol we use. It's called SHA MD5. I'm not sure if you're aware of that. So we're using this. We can make sure the data when they transfer between the two devices or two end location, it should not be tempered. Okay. However, these are network security related. I put two or three more. Okay. Integrity pre preventions against the unauthorized data and modification. So integrity means modification uh, and tempering. I have including this, okay, and authentication as well. Confidentiality we know protecting is the unauthorized data disclosure. Privacy provisions of the data control and disclosure availability prevention against the data delay. What is non-reputation? Preventing against any one part of for denying of any agreement after that. So what be what do you mean by non-reputation? Do you know about logging? Logging. What is a logging? Anybody knows? Logs. logs, logs. They, oh, Every network, network device generates logs. Yeah. For example, if I shut down this interface, it will say at that particular time, at that particular second, at that particular day, Mr. X, Y, Z, shut it down. down. It's yeah. Event report. Event report. So it's generated logs. Mm -hmm. Every network device or nowadays they generate logs. So, for example, if somebody, if somebody, <clears throat> an intruder, come to your house, and you don't have a camera. 
and the police comes into you and say, you, you, you go to police stations, Mr. XYZ came in at that time, at that time, but you can't produce any evidence because you don't have a camera. Maybe you install a camera later on, but if you have a camera which can take a picture, which can take a time and, you know, at dates as well, so you can produce at the court of law, okay, Mr. XYZ at that time, at that time came in my house and he stolen these things. So non-reputation means the somebody cannot deny that that he, he has done. So, for example, if you log into the device, just as a password Cisco, username Cisco, password Cisco, you say write a raise and you go home, reload the device, everything goes down. Okay. If you do that, nobody knows because username Cisco, password Cisco may be used by this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. But if we nowadays network devices, they use their own username and password. You, when you go into an organization, you will be given, you cannot access the network device until you give a username and password. Why? So everybody has a username and password. Whatever you are doing, it is recorded in the back end. So even, even you, whatever you're doing, if you make any mistake or anything yourself, so you can't deny it. You can't say that Mr. Mazar hasn't, you know, for example, deleted that information. Okay, so that's called non-reputation. So preventing against any one part, any one party from denying on an agreement after the facts. So this is rep reputation of omission. So for example, I did the transfer, but that wasn't the amount. Okay, so he's tried to send 500, but in the middle of the John Doe, he intercepted that and he changed this information to 1500. When the bank sees uh, he trans he intended to transfer 500, but somebody added one one in the middle. So goal of the uh, this is non reputation mean he cannot he cannot deny that if he he tried to do that. So sometimes you can launch some kind of inquiries to the bank that this was not this wasn't me this wasn't somebody else. However, they maybe check your username password um, token nowadays they have given you if you own the token it's mean it's you. You did that. So you can't deny at that particular time, that particular day you logged into the device. So that is why non repetition is, is very important. Okay. So this was a, a great warrior maybe in China. Know your enemy and know yourself can fight a hundred days battle. So what he's saying is you want to become a good network security engineer. You need to know how a people can attack you. 